Hello everyone, welcome to Windows Rehabilitation Laboratory. This is you, a physical therapist. This time, I'd like to talk about this question. Is changing a sedentary behavior beneficial for patients with diabetic kidney disease? Many people say that lifestyle has a big impact for one's health. So, let's start learning. Today, I'd like to talk about this study. Extended century time increases the risk of all-cause death and new cardiovascular events in patients with diabetic kidney disease. Decreased physical activity has been shown to cause various adverse health effects. And Extended sedentary time has been reported to increase the risk of cardiovascular disease and all-cause mortality, independent of physical activity. Sedentary behavior is defined as any waking behavior characterized by an energy expenditure below 1.5 m while in a sitting or reclining posture. Sedentary behavior can be objectively measured using an accelerometer or subjectively measured using a questionnaire. In a meta-analysis on the effect of sedentary time, extended sitting time was associated with a 14% increase in CBD risk and a 24% increase in all-cause mortality risk. Extended sedentary time among patients with diabetes has been associated with low HDLC and other metabolic disorders. Extended sedentary time has been reported among patients with DKD. In the American Diabetes Association's 2016 guidelines, a specific recommendation to keep sitting time restricted to 90 minutes per day regardless of the amount of physical activity, was included for the first time. This study aimed to clarify the effects of extended sedentary time in patients with DKD on the risk of all-cause death and new cardiovascular events. Patients included 173 DKD outpatients who completed the International Physical Activity Questionnaire. The study design was a prospective single-center cohort study performed during the follow-up period from September 2013 to December 2016. Primary evaluation items were new CBD and stroke events, HG initiation and all cause death. During the follow up period, subjects who experienced the new events were grouped into the new event onset group, and all other subjects were classified as the control group. There were 34 cases of new events during the observation period. There were 4 cases of stroke. 20 cases of CBD, 4 cases of HD implementation, and 6 cases of death. In the comparison of the backgrounds for the two groups, significant differences in age, medical history, diabetes duration, and DKD stage were observed. Each an hour increase in the sedentary time per day increased the risk of a new event by 23%. The cutoff value of the sedentary time for the onset of a new event was 5-25 minutes per day, with a sensitivity and specificity of 0.706 and 0.669 respectively. Cumulative survival rates for new events in the low and high sedentary time groups during the observation period were 0.903 and 0.649 
for the low and high value groups respectively. It was significantly lower in the high value group. Extended sedentary time increases the risk of new cardiovascular disease, stroke, HD initiation, and all cause deaths in patients with DKD. These results suggest that decreasing the sedentary time in patients with DKD may reduce cardiovascular disease, stroke, all cause death, and may postpone HD initiation. That's all. Thanks for watching. What do you think about this topic? If you have any ideas, feel free to write it on the comment. See you next videos.